Hey everybody, see more goodies here, um, and we're going to be playing Outlast. It's going to be my first Let's Play. I was going to play South Park Stick of Truth first, but um, some groundbreaking bugs in the beginning prohibited me from doing so for a while. So I decided Outlast would be a lot of fun anyway. I've heard a lot about it. I've seen um, parts of some playthroughs by it from people like PewDiePie, um, things like that. As you can see, I'm already a little ways in. All I did is my car's over there. I walked to here. It's uh, just been giving me, it's told me how to do this, and to run, and to do this. Just fantastic stuff. Um, yeah, so we scaled the side of this building. We're gonna climb in. <coughs> fantastic start. Um, my lights are off, and it is what? It's not that late. It's only 11 o'clock, so... Okay, let's just the job. Okay. We're in the, we're in the, we're in the light again, so we should be fine. It's not like, uh, the, oh my god, I remember playing Amnesia, so... <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm a little easily scared. Um, amnesia was more, instead of being scary though, it was actually just pretty stressful uh, because of the sanity thing. Sanity thing really uh, fucking irritated me. Nothing in here. It taught me how to like throw open the door instead of um, creep up to it. But I forgot. Squeeze through, just fucking do it. Okay. I'm not scared. It's not even dark in here. Mine. Okay, reload by reloading. Makes sense. Nothing. It's my shadow. That's some awkward arm movement. Oh, it's actually brighter when I don't have my Okay, as for the story this far, I'm sure you've already seen a few playthroughs, but we are Miles Upshur, a journalist. We've came here to investigate the um this asylum, Mount Massive Asylum, and we got an email from an anonymous person who apparently probably worked here saying that there was some fucked up shit going on. And that the doctors uncovered something. No documents. It's here, but I'm not going to read it again. Project Wall Rider Patient Status Report for William Hope. I read pretty fast. I'm just going to read it quietly. You can pause and read this if you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spare tree revealed no bronchial acclimation. I don't like to uh, just sit and read those for too long. I know they're really important to the story, but they kind of break the immersion for me a little bit. Ooh. Uh. Um. Oh, it's a Coke machine. <laughs> it scared me. Locked? Let me in. Fine. Huh? Oh fuck, that is so creepy. Uh uh. Okay, hold on, let me check uh check my settings real quick. I feel like I'm gonna controls. Have to <laughs> lean left and right. That's nice to know. That damn it, it told me how to like throw open the, the door, but I'm an idiot. And no. Well, let's go. Okay. <coughs> Left first, always. Oh. Oh, oh, I was 
just in there. Oh no. Someone's looking for me. What do you say, wall rider? I'm not a wall rider. Not that's making me not really wanna He'd be right there, wouldn't he? Is that an elevator? It's old. Oh! Shh. Shh. Fuck me, guys. Oh, what's that? Where'd he go? Okay, music. Music, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's just. Uh, I get like sniffles, like I want to cry a little bit. Shit like this happens. Ugh. No! They killed us! You got out! The variants! Our variants. You can't fight them! You have to hide! You can't unlock the main doors! Control. Is that like an update? Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Might have got a note though. I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Markov scientists from the ceiling. Their badges say blah blah blah. Fuck the third world and the bank world. Another billion. Blah blah blah. There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tell me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. We're a little harsh. Get the fuck out of this terrible place. You done? Okay. <laughs> Flies took onto that shit pretty quick. I really am upset. I saw that bitch, I know it. Okay, so I just I just hold like I just press the left button instead of hold it to <laughs> to um Throw the door open. So I feel like even trying to go in here is um, fucking stupid, so. Or the only option. Yeah, seems like the only option. Okay. We're not scared, guys. We're not scared. <laughs> scared. Oh, thank God. <gasps> yes. So close, close as shit. Well, that also means I'm missing something. Though. Can I get up there? Huh? No. Um, oh, maybe this. Maybe this. There's nothing in here. Nothing in here. I'm like, I'm perfectly. I'm not. I'm pretty fit. I'm assuming I just scaled the side of the building can't get past these lockers pretty annoying okie dokie didn't mean it oh I'm an idiot let's go you guys are probably sitting here screaming no 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 oh. oh. Little pig. And who are you then? Nobody. I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You will call me.
escape the asylum. Yeah, it seems like the entire game, so I don't think we're gonna be doing that too quickly. Notes. Oh, no, 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 you guys are welcome to read this. You want to go ahead and pause? I'm just going to skim it really quickly. Okay. Okay. We are not scared, guys. You know, it's like astounding how, how not scared we are. So, let's just beg the great merciful God for some batteries and go ahead and move on through here. I don't even know if it would, but I'm trying not to reload batteries until I'm like completely out. Only off chance that it's just like uh, in real life where if you got rid of a clip of something, <laughs> you'd just be throwing it in the trash. Just useless. This is a bit irritating though. Like oil. I know it adds to the stress of the game, but I fucking hate it. I really do. It just it just it bothers me. <laughs> really. Keeps me from being scared a little bit um cuz there have been a few games where I had to like get a walk through that took me literally step by step or I was not going to find my way to the next area. That Wanna tear this door off? Oh, it wants me to peek. Let's take this first. Take it. You guys are doing a lot of reading, huh? Oh, Project Wall Rider. I'll read this one. Um, CLW Wall Rider, age 32, physician Rudolf Wernick, notation by Dr. Walsh. Therapy status: morphogenic engine activated. Activity plateaued roughly beyond 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormonal schedule. Diagnostics. Barometry revealed light to medium bronchial acclimation. MRI scans consistent with patient's reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker has interviewed in, was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints has... Hmm seem to have some boyhood experience. The mental trauma he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seemed to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. Continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Good to know. This doesn't use battery, does it? Not having the it's the night vision, right? That guy's totally alive. We're just not gonna be scared. Yeah, see he's alive, he's gonna grab us or some shit. We're not even gonna worry about it. We're just gonna take a deep breath, wait for him to grab us or fall out of his chair or some shit. Nothing? Nothing? Yeah. Okay. Let's just regress. They look pretty normal, to be honest. Oh. Uh. Uh, cat. What are you guys watching? Oh my god. What happened to you? Hello? Hello? 
Okay, I really don't like that noise. Stop it. Won't, you guys aren't even acknowledging my presence. So I'm supposed to go. Oh, right, 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 I'm sure I want to quit. Get GTFO out of this place. I will oh, lower my heart rate a little bit and see you guys in the next video. See more goodies out. <laughs>